will proceed to the uh, next uh, demo. DevOps Framework for OO, uh, CICD CT by Karim Ben Ali, Makram Janaya, and Michael Bitan. Familiar names. Are you ready? Uh, yes, we are. Just uh, let me know when, uh, when you see my screen. Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, uh, hello everyone. I'm Karim Benali from HPE PS and uh, along with uh, my colleagues Makram Jnaya, Mikhail Beton and Khaled Bilgith, we are going to share with you well, uh, another dream. We are dreamers uh, in the team. <laughs> a dream that we had when we uh, were working on the field, developing uh, flows uh, and use cases for uh, customers and prospects. A dream of continuous integration and uh, deployment of uh, OO content packs, a sort of uh, DevOps uh, framework for OO. Well, uh, certainly many of you who are daily working with uh, OO felt the frustration when, uh, you know, uh, creating a content pack each time they updated their flow and then uh, deploying it each time on, uh, on OO Central. Uh, doing all this uh, manually could be a real pain and uh, lose uh, of time. So let us share with you what we have uh, done about uh, about this. So uh, here we have our uh, our developer. He pushes his uh, his code to uh, to a source um, code uh, management uh, tool. Actually, with uh, uh, our platform, it is GitLab and uh, pushing this code into a git then uh, this code is pulled by uh, Jenkins uh, through a webhook and uh, package it into a jar file using the, uh, the new uh, OSHA script available on Studio 16 I think on Windows we, we adapted it a little bit so we can fit on, on Linux and create the, uh, the jar uh, then this uh, jar is uh, automatically deployed, uh, so we'll package it, pushed into Nexus, then deployed into OO Central uh, via the, the REST API. Uh, well, and what we can do further is deploying this on a multitude of environment, adding uh, some tests maybe, and uh, well, delivering a full workflow for, uh, for creating content packs automatically. Uh, for now, well, uh, we provide a sort of a starter kit uh, with uh, Docker images ready to use and uh, to deploy, easily integrable uh, with Studio and Central. Uh, it's lightweight, uh, very easy. Uh, we provide documentation on GitHub, a uh, sort of readme where you can issue the commands to to install the the Docker containers on a virtual machine on your laptop or on the environment directly on the environment. Just configure the IP addresses in the uh, in the Jenkins job, and you and you are done. Uh, well, we will see that in the uh, in the demo. I'll uh, uh, let my colleague Makram Jnayah uh, present the demo. And uh, well, are you ready, Makram? Are you able to see my screen? Hi, everyone. Hi, yes, we can see you in studio. Uh, okay, great. So we are going to demonstrate the fruit of our work. Our project, as Karim said, is called DevOps for Orchestration, and we have three outputs. Um, the outputs are three Docker images ready to use that we published on Docker Hub. The first one is the GitLab image that will host the OO project. Um, the um, Git repository. The second one is the pre-configured Jenkins image. We succeed to adapt and run USHA on Linux a Docker container. Um, and finally, we have the Nexus image, which is um, the repository which will contain the content pack. So um, let me start from the Operation Orchestration Studio. Uh, we connected it to to our um, GitLab environment. And as you can see, 
this is the um, we attached it uh, the to the SCM URL to the SCM repository. We have the authentication and uh, user information. So um, let me show you before uh, before starting the. Um, pushing and making changes. Uh, the actual version of the content pack available on uh, Central, uh, actually it's uh, the version 1.12, and I'm going to trigger a new ch uh, change. I will um, update the category description here. Okay. I will commit the change. Update of cat one. I'll do the commit and push. Push all. The push has succeeded. Now let's move to the Jenkins job we created. Um, uh, thanks to uh, the webhook, we uh, the um, the commit and push has been triggered by Jenkins, and the build starts automatically. So, uh, as you can see, this is the cancel of the job running. Uh, it calls USHA, and then. Um, deploy the content pack on uh, operation orchestration, then publish publish it in um, Nexus. As you can see, the, the job succeeded. Let's check on operation orchestration, the update done to the content pack. It's the version 1.30. And um, so the <coughs> deployment succeeded on um, Operation Orchestration Central. Uh, I will move now to Nexus. And let's refresh, refresh the browser in order to get the new Staccato Content Pack, standalone Staccato Content Pack 1.30, newly deployed on uh, Nexus. We'll be able to download it, etc. Yes. So now I will show you our um, GitLab. This is the interface of our GitLab. Um, let's check the last commit. The last commit is triggered two minutes ago, which is update of cat1. If you can access it. This is the change I made. I changed the description from category 1 to uh, description of category 12. So, <coughs> okay. So, let me now show you uh, the, the Docker Hub images. Uh, images. Uh, they are available here in this address. Um, and you can uh, directly uh, pull uh, the images and uh, start using them. This is the GitLab Hackathon image, the Jenkins Hackathon image, and the Nexus Hackathon image. So, all the process has been documented here in our GitLab repository. Um, you will find the prerequisites, the th deployment process, and how to set up uh, the, the project to run. Uh, it will contain how to connect um, SCM and how to uh, do the modification of on uh, um, Jenkins to, 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 to get the real, um, the correct value in your environment. So, for the job, let's return to the, jo the Jenkins job. We have the Jenkins job. Um, just a second. Okay, so uh, our Jenkins job um, 
is connected to, to Git, to our GitLab. Uh, we are triggering uh, the at every push um, thanks to the webhook. Um, we have the build uh, uh, operations. The call to uh, usha dot h um, create content pack um, method and the um, the operation upload content pack to oo uh, through curl and finally the upload of the content pack to nexus using the uh, variable uh, build number in order to get incremental uh, incremental number at each um, at <coughs> sorry at each um, new new uh, version of the content pack thank you Uh, if you have, you have questions, so, please. Yeah. Can I, you maybe show again the the slide of the overall process? Okay. You saw you you show in the beginning. Okay. Let me just share again the screen. Well, just let me know when you see my screen. Yes. Okay. This one? Uh, no, the one even before. Yes. Okay. Um. So one piece that I uh, I missed, but probably it's me not uh, that you didn't uh, describe. How it mm -hmm. goes from f between Nexus and uh, OO? Well, it's uh, it's Jenkins uh, who well, it's different steps. Uh, mm -hmm. The uh, well, the job we configured directly uh, pushes the jar into Nexus, and the same jar is deployed uh, to OO. OO mm -hmm. is not retrieving the jar from Nexus, actually. It's Jenkins who are who is pushing uh, the same version of the jar, who, which is pushed to Nexus, to OO. Ah, oh, okay. I got no. it. I, th I think it's it's great how you yeah. combine the uh, the various aspects and perspective both USHA and GitHub and Central, and you um, actually combine the entire story. It's uh, really impressive. Thank you. So uh, one question from actually two questions from my side. <laughs> Um, the first question is regarding USHA on Linux. So, mm -hmm. as you know, we we do plan to certify it for the next uh, version. So, did you encounter any issue on running uh, USHA on Linux so far? <laughs> well, it's just uh, you know uh, the the version I uh, I used is just uh, from uh, from Studio, which was running on Windows. It just launches uh, launches a jar. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I launched the same jar on uh, Linux. I had some dependencies uh, issues that, uh, uh, well, it was because I didn't know how uh, how actually Maven works. So uh, I just satisfied the the uh, the, uh, the dependencies and uh, and it created the content pack. It wasn't very uh, difficult to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And the second question is. Uh, as you may know, we have customers looking for a solution like this, right, to implement it on their side. So, um, how difficult would be to uh, take these images and, you know, um, sanitize them and make them available for, for the customers that are looking for a similar solution? Uh, well, well, to to use uh, the the basic uh, kit we 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 developed, you only need a Docker engine. On the customer environment, so you can deploy the uh, uh, the containers, and then we can uh, add the new features to 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 the starter kit depending on the customer environment. Uh, well, 
you just you just need the Docker engine. That's all. Mm -hmm. you, you you run the the containers. You change the IP addresses because we, we wrote it uh, statically on our jobs for now. But if the customer has a DNS uh, resolution server, we can uh, put uh, well uh, put the the host names in the DNS, and, uh, and that's all. Just uh, just a matter of networking that can change from one environment to another. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.